How would you feel if artificial intelligence was deciding the targets in a war? That's not a hypothetical question anymore. We are living in an era where warfare has evolved beyond the traditional battlefield and AI is becoming a game changer. It's happening today, with military powers around the globe leveraging this technology to maximize their strategic advantages. One such instance is the use of an AI-powered database system called Lavender by Israeli intelligence during the Gaza War. Developed by the Elite Intelligence Division, Unit 8200, Lavender identified an astonishing 37,000 potential targets linked to Hamas. With a reported accuracy rate of 90%, this system was not only used to generate a database of potential targets, but also recommended buildings as targets. The shift towards AI-driven target identification is a startling reality of modern warfare. But as we move forward, we must ask ourselves, what does this mean for ethics and accountability on the battlefield? Are we ready to face the implications of these advancements? Let's dive into the specifics of how AI was used in this context. What if I told you an AI named Lavender identified 37,000 potential targets during the Gaza War? Quite a statement to begin with, isn't it? This is no sci-fi movie plot. It's the reality of modern warfare where artificial intelligence plays an increasingly significant role. Let's delve into the specifics. The Lavender system, as it's known, was developed by Unit 8200, Israel's elite intelligence division. It's essentially an AI-powered database, but it's not your run-of-the-mill data storage. Lavender is a system that can churn through vast amounts of data, identify potential targets linked to Hamas, and even recommend specific buildings for strikes. And this isn't some rudimentary prototype either. In fact, during the Gaza War, Lavender was put to the test in a real-world scenario, identifying an astonishing 37,000 potential targets. But what's even more impressive, or perhaps unsettling, is Lavender's accuracy rate. We're talking about a 90% accuracy rate here. That's right, 9 out of every 10 targets identified by Lavender were verified as legitimate. But Lavender's capabilities don't stop there. Not only does it identify potential targets, but it can also recommend buildings as targets. This means Lavender has the ability to analyze a structure, evaluate its significance, and then suggest it as a suitable target. This is a game changer in terms of how warfare is conducted. The ability to accurately identify and recommend targets reduces the time taken for decision-making in high-pressure situations, potentially saving lives on one side of the battle. But this also brings us to a crucial point of contention. Such a high accuracy rate is impressive, but it also raises some serious ethical questions. As we increasingly rely on AI in warfare, we must grapple with the moral implications of such technology. But that's a discussion for the next scene. For now, let's marvel at the power and potential of AI systems like Lavender, even as we remain wary of the implications. So, what happens when an AI system is given permission to kill civilians in pursuit of low-ranking militants? This question takes us to the heart of the ethical dilemma surrounding the use of AI in warfare. The Lavender system, for instance, was reportedly given pre-authorized allowances for civilian casualties. This means that the system was programmed to accept a certain level of civilian death as a necessary cost of targeting militants. This approach raises a myriad of moral and ethical questions. How many civilian lives are worth the elimination of a single militant? Who makes these decisions and based on what criteria? These questions become even more pressing when we consider the high civilian casualties during the Gaza conflict, a staggering 32,000 Palestinians. Many of these deaths were reportedly due to the use of unguided munitions, which lack the precision of their guided counterparts. The use of AI in warfare also shifts the responsibility for death and destruction. In traditional warfare, the burden of decision-making rests on human shoulders. Soldiers on the ground and generals in war rooms make calls that can result in life or death. With AI systems like Lavender, these decisions are outsourced to algorithms and machine learning models. This shift can dilute the accountability for the consequences of warfare and create a dangerous precedent. Moreover, these AI systems operate based on the data they are fed. 
If the data is biased, incomplete, or inaccurate, the resulting decisions can be flawed and lead to unnecessary civilian casualties. This opens up another ethical can of worms. Who is responsible when an AI system, acting on faulty data, causes civilian deaths? The IDF defended its operations, stating they were in accordance with international law. But is it enough? The ethical implications of AI in warfare go beyond legal compliance. They force us to reconsider our very understanding of warfare, accountability, and the value of human life. As we continue to develop and deploy AI systems in warfare, these are the questions we must grapple with. With AI already playing such a significant role in warfare, what does the future hold? As we look ahead, it seems almost inevitable that AI will play an increasingly prominent role in warfare. The potential benefits are significant. For one, AI systems like the Lavender system could vastly improve the accuracy of targeting in conflict zones, potentially reducing the number of civilian casualties. These systems can analyze vast amounts of data at speed, identifying potential targets with a level of efficiency and precision that far surpasses human capabilities. But this is not just about pinpointing targets. AI could also help in predicting the movements of enemy forces, analyzing patterns in their behavior, and even anticipating their next moves. This could enable a more strategic approach to warfare, where decisions are based on data-driven insights rather than gut instincts. However, with these advancements come potential risks. The misuse of AI in warfare could have catastrophic consequences. For instance, if the systems were to fall into the wrong hands, they could be used to target innocent civilians or to escalate conflicts unnecessarily. Moreover, the reliance on AI could lead to a lack of human oversight and the dehumanization of warfare. Therefore, as we move forward, it's crucial that we also consider the ethical implications of AI in warfare. The international community needs to establish clear guidelines and regulations to ensure that the use of AI in warfare adheres to international law and respects human rights. The development of such regulations will be complex and challenging, but it's a task we cannot afford to ignore. So as we gaze into the crystal ball of the future, we see a battleground that is increasingly digital, increasingly automated, and increasingly reliant on AI. The potential for AI to revolutionize warfare is undeniable, but as we embrace this technology, we must also grapple with the ethical dilemmas it presents. As AI continues to evolve, so too will its role in warfare, but at what cost? We've seen how AI, like the Lavender system, can drastically change the face of warfare. It's a tool that can analyze data and predict outcomes with a speed and accuracy that far outpaces human capabilities. This was demonstrated in the Gaza War, where the Lavender system identified 37,000 potential targets linked to Hamas with an accuracy rate of 90%. It's a system that exemplifies the power of AI in modern warfare, enabling military forces to operate with unprecedented efficiency. But with this efficiency comes a set of ethical implications that we cannot ignore. The use of AI in warfare blurs the line between combatant and civilian, between target and bystander. In the Gaza conflict, the Lavender system was used to justify high civilian casualties, with 32,000 Palestinians losing their lives. This raises serious questions about whether AI should be used in such contexts, and if so, how it should be regulated to prevent such tragedies. The future of AI in warfare is not a simple one. On one hand, it has the potential to revolutionize the way we conduct war, making it more precise, more efficient, and perhaps even less deadly for the innocent. On the other hand, it could also lead to a new era of warfare, where the human element is removed, where decisions about life and death are made by algorithms and machines. This is a future that we must approach with caution and wisdom. In conclusion, the role of AI in modern warfare is a complex one. It offers tremendous potential, but also poses significant ethical and moral challenges. It's a tool that can be used for good or ill, and it's up to us to decide how it will be used. As we continue to develop and implement AI in all areas of life, including warfare, we must remember that these tools are only as good or as bad as the hands that wield them. 
As we move forward, we must strive to ensure that the use of AI in warfare adheres to the highest ethical standards, respects human rights, and prioritizes the preservation of life. We must also continue to explore and understand the potential implications and consequences of AI in warfare. The future is here, and it's powered by AI. But it's up to us to decide what that future will look like. As we continue to develop and implement AI in all areas of life, we must ask ourselves, are we ready for the consequences?